Hi, I'm Dave from Thomas Jacks, and today I'm field testing the flagship thermal rifle scope from Pulsar, the Thermion 2 LRF XP50 Pro, so you can see how good the image is at identification at different ranges and see all the benefits of its inbuilt laser rangefinder. It mounts on standard 30mm rings, it's made in Europe, and as well as an F1 lens, dual band Wi Fi, new electronics for up to 10 hours of battery life. There's enhanced image processing for even better definition, and that means sharper edges, more detail, greater ability to cope in tough conditions, and importantly, better ID capability, even at longer ranges. Of course, you can record, and with your right or left hand, thanks to the twin focusing dials, it's easy and quick to bring things into sharp focus. Optimising the image for the conditions as well as the task at hand is easy too. For identifying our target on this relatively warm day when the sheep are close to the surrounding temperature, in ID mode I need the bottom half of our brightness and contrast settings to achieve more detail. And that built-in LRF on the front won't have escaped your notice. You can see the red laser rangefinder at the centre of the viewfinder picture, and that times 4 picture-in-picture picture window shows your rifle's reticle over the target. There's no trouble in IDing something the size of a lamp at 249 yards but the LRF has a much longer range. And if you're scanning an area or your target is moving, you can also switch it to scan mode. And the LRF is accurate to within a meter for up to 800 meters, which is easy to put to the test. And on the side menu dial, you've got lots more LRF controls at your fingertips. Just a long press on the main menu. And here you can change the laser range finder reticle to um, any one of these three. And for hilly or mountainous terrain, you can also choose to see the angle of your target, as well as the straight line distance or true horizontal distance. With both of those set to on, here's what you now see when you press the laser range finder. Let's put it into scanning mode so you can see how the angle and true horizontal distance change as we scan around the hillside. And here's another built-in feature for that laser rangefinder on your Thermion 2 LRF XP50 Pro. Let's find a target. OK, 68 yards. If you've zeroed your scope to 50 yards and you can see the zero profile at the bottom of the viewfinder image, you can make that shot confidently day or night. But if you've set up additional zeroing ranges and you can have up to 10 ranges for each profile, these also become available on your quick menu dial. Scrolling through the zero ranges I've set up for this tripod demo, you'll see that each one automatically shifts the reticle to a new zero position for that range. So for something roughly the size of a lamb or fox at 245 yards, you could estimate the holdover you need. You'd be more confident about the shot if you could do some on-the-fly ballistic calculations. Or with this range feature, because you've accurately zeroed it to something similar already, you can be totally confident about taking the shot day or night, even if it's beyond what you're normally capable of. So on top of image quality that allows you to identify the target with confidence, you've got all the information you need on one device, in one eye, to be confident about taking a safe and accurate shot. And to take an accurate shot, well, you don't need to be as close, and that reduces your risk of spooking your target. And as the laser rangefinder is built in, not handheld, you'll get a reliable range reading every time. You don't need to switch between devices to check information as you close in on your target or your target moves. And it's one less device to keep charged and carry. This is the Thermion 2 LRF XP50 Pro. If you want to see more, subscribe or visit thomasjacks.co.uk. Or if you've already made up your mind and you know you want to increase your capability over longer ranges day and night, get the Pulsar Thermion 2 LRF XP50 Pro. I'm David Thomas Jacks. Thanks for watching.